Hi everyone, my name is Wilson, my pronouns are he, him, his, and this fall I will be a second year biological sciences major. I'm here to talk about the major and hopefully clarify several things as you are either preparing to make your decision or already have and are just so excited to get started. First of all, the biological sciences major is under the biological sciences department, which includes two other majors. Marine sciences, fun fact, we own one of the longest piers on the west coast at 3,000 feet, and microbiology, which I also think is super cool because you get to take classes like medical microbiology and immunology. However, I'm going to be talking about the biological sciences major specifically. First, let's talk about the students. While bio majors do make up the largest portion of the College of Science and Math, it never feels too big. I'd actually say that that's the case for Cal Poly in general. Although we are a pretty large university, it always feels nice and small with a great community. A lot of it has to deal with the class sizes and the way that they are structured. Every bio major has to take the same series of bio classes starting our very first quarter. Yes, I've literally taken a bio class, which includes labs, every quarter I've been enrolled at Cal Poly. Contrast this with other universities where you don't really begin to take your major courses until your third year, after you've competed your way through the weeder courses. These bio lectures do not typically exceed 200 people, and the labs do not go over 24, which is amazing for intro bio courses. Um, and obviously, like it gets smaller as you take higher level courses. On top of this, the professors make genuinely real efforts to get to know us by strongly encouraging office hours and trying to get, engage with us during lectures. And since the lab classes are so small, you really get to know the instructors very well, some of which are grad students that can relate to us as well as offer us uh, offer to take us into the research projects. And grad students only teach the lab sections. Furthermore, we aren't graded on a curve, so there's so much incentive for all of us to study together and help each other out. While bio major is traditionally a competitive major, at Cal Poly, you're always going to find yourself collaborating with others as opposed to competing. I touched a little bit on the topic of faculty, but let me just tell you how amazing they are. The bio professors are really nice people who are really good at what they know when explaining the material to us. When I was in high school, I never liked learning about plants. I thought I only liked learning about humans and animals, but after taking a bio class last quarter, I found that plants are actually really interesting things, and this was because the professor did a great job on teaching the topics and making the learning experience fun, even though this class was virtual due to COVID. Again, all of the prof professors are genuinely there to help you succeed, and they really push for students to go meet them during office hours, and they really want them to understand the material. I've had a professor even hold weekly office hours in my dorm's community room in the evenings. I also mentioned research earlier, which is quite common on campus. With a small student to faculty ratio, research institutes like the Center for Applications in Biotechnology and the Frost Undergraduate Summer Research, Pro research Program, there's a plethora excuse me, of research opportunities for undergraduates to take. While Cal Poly offers master's programs and such, it is an undergraduate-focused university, so a lot of the resources are there for undergrads. Even the master's students will sometimes offer us to help them with their projects, like I said earlier. What prepares us for these research skills is not only the faculty as mentors, but the actual courses that we take. Over three-fourths of the courses in the department has a lab section attached to it, and this is where Learn by Doing comes into play. These lab sections include indoors, uh, where we are able to use very expensive equipment, and outdoor, where we take field trips or even just go to our campus's own big backyard. One super interesting lab is the Cadaver Lab. Not many institutions will allow undergrads to learn from cadavers, so this is another really cool thing. There's also the Plant Conservatory and the uh, Hoover Herbarium for those who are interested in plants. The bio major has three concentrations you can choose from. Anatomy and Physiology, Molecular and Cellular Biology, and Ecology, Evolution, Biodiversity, and Conservation, or EEBC. You can also go with a non-concentration option. These, op uh, these concentrations allow us to specialize further into a subject area that we want to be more knowledgeable in, or that will help you uh, for grad school preparation. I personally don't know which concentration I would go with yet because I've liked every bio class I've taken so far, but I don't have to really worry about declaring a concentration until the end of my second or beginning of my third year. Overall, biological sciences is a really cool major. Um, if you have any other questions, you can drop a comment below. Have a good day. Go Mustangs.